to the very first mission in the game, and it kind of acts as a pre-credits. Uh, we wanted to mimic the way that the films work, which is a really explosive, action-packed uh, intro that kind of works as an appetizer for the rest of the adventure. So what Pete Collier here uh, is doing is he, he's sort of working his way through this boat, um, looking for a terrorist who's planning on blowing up the Acropolis. And we want to, to give the player a choice as to how they approach situations. So they can either go in all guns blazing, they can sneak around a little bit, sneak up behind people and do hand-to-hand -hand stuff. Uh, or they can do a mixture of both. So if you come down here, you can see we've got these two guys who are talking. They can listen to the, the player can listen to the exposition, find out a little bit more about the story, the characters, or they can just shoot them. It's up to the player. We don't want to force it down their throat. So that was one of the, the takedowns that we got in the game. We've got about Oh, got about, I think it's 90 different hand-to-hand -hand takedown combinations. You can do it over cover, um, you know, stealthily, action. And they're all choreographed and carried out by Ben Cook, which is Daniel Craig's stunt double in the film. And one of the things that's really interesting about Daniel Craig James Bond is he's fallible. Things go wrong for him, but it's what he does when they go wrong. He doesn't give up. He'll always carry on fighting. He'll always carry on to complete his objective. And we've got these sort of scripted moments here, like a helicopter coming in, strafing the gunship, that all kind of add into a really nice cinematic uh, experience for the player. So there's Greco, he's uh, escaping in the boat, and what he actually does is he fires a rocket at his own yacht in a bit to get away. Uh, James Bond, you know, takes the initiative, he sees an escape boat getting away, jumps down into it, knocks the guy out, and he carries on the pursuit, he won't give up, he's kind of relentless like that. But it also allows us to fluidly transition between uh, the hand-to-hand -hand and the, the gunplay, the on-foot sections, and the driving, and back again. We want to make it as seamless as possible, because then it's a cinematic. We made sure we give them that, but we also want to throw in some stuff that they maybe wouldn't expect. Uh, just keep me on the edge of the seat all the way through.